it could be pretty gnarly. You see what I'm saying? Um, and with that, that's very old and rusty. That's in the background. So, uh, for ghost cat, for our purposes, it could be, be very gnarly. I think those are working power. Boxes. Oh, that's, that would be fantastic if it is. Another one there too. So. And that's a water storage tank, right? Yeah. And how would you interpret that? It, you know, because that, that would be creepy at night. I just need an interpretation. Well, because in my graveyard, well, the town I grew up in, the graveyard yeah. had a, a water tank. Ah, uh, but why? Because dead people don't drink water. No, they just had a water. That's where the, it was located in the oh, graveyard. Oh, it's convenient. Yeah. Uh, it was the top of the hill. They've since tore down the water tower since uh -huh. I've been back, but we actually had a water tower in the graveyard. As big as this? Much bigger. Probably it could it's like be. 80 feet tall. Whoa. Yeah. So this is like not the ones that will say the name of the town on the side. Uh huh. That would be great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, Tombstone Junction, right? And or just say Hangman Tree. How about let's just say call it what it is. It's the Hangman Tree, and this is where where the subplot. I don't know where the subplot would be. Um, it might be there, uh, which is getting closer to our other thing. But uh -huh. I would see them. Here's, 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 here's okay, here. Okay, I'm trying to breathe it in. All right, so you, you, can you get it? I mean, the ghost cat, I'm messing with my hair right now. I my brush in earlier because uh, uh, in the midst of all the excitement, I don't know where I placed it. Uh, what we need uh, is the graveyard location, and it's not that simple because we will have a graveyard of the old traditional, so-called just the Western, tombstones and maybe mausoleums of which we're gonna set it over here you see maybe it's down here. Regular graveyard. but we have to see yeah we have to see that consider the grade the grade is a little too too much for a regular graveyard you see it's a mountain town though so it's fine that, okay so i guess that would just there he can point up the hill Mm -hmm. And then the, the subplot. Sub here's the only complication: is, is if we shoot the, if we shoot the um, Meaning crime scene, you see those water barrels there. Yeah. But that little spot there could be very good for the uh, subplot. Oh. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Where's the crime scene? Sorry, you're, you're talking about the mauling of the. Yeah, the mauling, the mauling happens on a little pathway next to those black water tanks. Uh, yeah, and then we uh, we already talked about how good the parking is for like mm -hmm. a SUV or or a camera truck, right? Because mm -hmm. oh, the camera comes to see the little town about the the uh, murder mm -hmm. of Rondo, or we don't know if it's Rondo. I think it's Rondo. Used to be Buff, but uh, uh, he was a henchman. When I say was, you know, because in these kind of movie stories. Uh, <laughs> it gets a little blurred uh, when the people that are dead, they come back and they're so-called reanimated, if you know uh, anything about it anyway. So, Mick Garris probably knows a lot more. Um, Christopher knows a lot more. And that's definitely too pretty a tree. We cannot do that. And this would be kind of, you know, once you dress it up, it would be spooky. Or maybe there's a big tree up there, but that's a little out of the way. Well, the issue going up there is that's, that's where a crime scene is. Yeah, that's too close. But you know, if you're gonna shoot it at night, would know it just during the day. The first visit, that's gonna be hard to to do because the first visit is what a dusk. That's when the um, yeah, so the graveyard keeper. Here's what, I, here's what I like about it. Okay, so if you have the regular grave there, graves there, they make their way up. He points up to this thing, right? Um, and he's like, that's the hangman tree. That's they, the hangman they tree. They kept the hang. They kept those bodies here separate uh -huh. from the regular people, right? Uh, yeah, because they're these are hoodlums cursed, or yeah. bandits. They are oh, cursed. Here's what I like about this area here. Uh -huh. it's, it's, it's got its own little like pair of trees around it. We could put the Chinese arch. Uh -huh. Watch this. Chinese arch. Oh, <laughs> mountain lion. Ha ha ha! Goat. We got a goat. Right here. Uh huh. Uh, that's going to be a little bit technical, uh, sort of, um, you, you know, <laughs> difficulty to get your so shit built. From the rest of it. Then you come up here, in this little area. Oh, I'm not going to go up there. Here's the challenge. Yeah. Just geographically, is the bars over there, we don't want to know it's there. Oh, that's no big deal, because I got the thickets to, to cover. So come run up here. 
Why do I want to go up there? Because you have to see if this is Chinese graveyard. Well, I don't want to risk my camera. From the tomb, we want to see certain things in the distance, so... So we might have a little problem with might, yeah, able to reconcile to see that. Some of the views we have up here. That's all. So right, we we're thinking zone. that we can shoot the uh, Chinese subplot. Uh, it means that where they bury all the uh, uh, railroad workers. <laughs> At least uh, I got a great location. Thank you, Christopher. <laughs> Mad at him earlier, so now I have to be nice. <laughs> It's going to be hard. I mean, I'm not trying to be negative. You're going to have them set up tomes. So can they bring up the stuff? So you can bring it up in like a Props. gator. Uh huh. Like those gators, like the little four-wheel drive vehicles. You saw Carter had one down there? Yeah, maybe he'll let us use it. Yeah, but, you know, I'm just saying.